with David and Lee is a puppet who retires this week after a showbiz career spanning 50 years. He's now retiring in order to spend more time on the golf course. <laughs> Nick Faldo's going to use him as a club cover. <laughs> with his friend Matthew Corbett, it's Sooty. <laughs> It's <laughs> true. Is it to distract the fact that he's a, a heroin smuggler? <laughs> I mean, he's always carrying a big syringe, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> because he could. Yeah. It's great actually having Sooty on with Gary because we've got a puppy and a muppet, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Sooty haven't... said more than David Gower so far as well. <laughs> Oh, don't go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like a mix up at the airport, you know, he came out with that suitcase, which should have gone out with Frank Bott. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> apparently, apparently, oh. even even more bizarrely, twenty minutes later there was another incident and Fatima Whitbread was also stopped with a case full of ladies' underwear, and that was very <laughs> suspicious. <Yeah. laughs> now that is weird, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Nick, Sooty's crying. Why? Oh. Ah. Altogether or not at all? <laughs> I would have suggested not at all. <laughs> he says it because he does know the correct answer, but uh, he wants to whisper it to you. He wants to whisper to you, oh, Nick. a good idea. <laughs> the, the answer. Go on. The answer. <laughs> <laughs> he's not... He's not tonguing <laughs> you, is he? <laughs> well... Fair, it's fair. That is the correct answer. Yay! Yeah. Four, three points. Look, look. <laughs> Absolutely right. Well done, Sophie. Right. Absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, and just to confirm, here's Steve Backley to tell us what happened after he snatched Silver Jimmy's out the last song, minute. Is it Black Lace, Black Sabbath or The Wombles, David's team? Matthew, uh, didn't you have a hand in The Wombles? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? We are quite recently, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever have to pretend so he's got a bad back when you've got cramp? <laughs> Actually, I just thought of something as well. Do you ever go to the bog for a shit and forget he's on your hand? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm trying not to... trying to be rude. I mean, he's at home rehearsing, you know. <laughs> And the tragedy is, of course, he's reaching for the toilet paper, so he's screaming, no, no. no yeah. but unless he's up close, you can't hear him. Yeah. <laughs> then I suppose you've got to wash him then, then. Did you do it separate or just sling him in with your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Black Lace, Black Sabbath or the Wombles? Well, the people behind them. Mike Bass, he's the man behind He them. is the man behind the Wombles, the Wombles isn't he? Actually, oh, Steve Batty was behind Black Lace. <laughs> <laughs> It's Mike Bass, he's the man who's writing. Back. Yep. You all agreed on that? Let's yep. see if you're correct. Absolutely correct. The police not even plugged in his eye there, Matthew. Will you... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> who's you who's your optician? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manchester United and Arsenal helped out at the relief of Mavikin. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, sweet? <laughs> Absolutely rubbish. Yeah, I mean... That's quite I saw how he did that! <laughs> <laughs> He's got, he's down there. He's got a little grey dog down, down there that's it for him. <laughs> I would imagine yours is a little grey dog by now, isn't it? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> a different sort of question for you. We haven't stolen this, by the way, from any other BBC sports quiz programme. What we want to know is, how shall I put it, um, what occurred after uh, this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you another thing, Sue. Mm -hmm. The amount of time it takes to do drain repairs, it'll be 200 years before anybody finds that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gary's team. Matthew, do you have a sports car when you go out by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> we saw Sue there. Yeah, what? And you're on tour, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. We just saw Sue there, and I was just thinking, you know, I mean, I've toured, and it's, it's quite a lonely experience. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the point is, you know, you've got Bishop's sooty, on, rumors. sooty on your right hand, Sue on the left, I mean, have ya? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, nobody told you she's a good looking bear, do you know what I mean? Lee, I've got a worse idea. You wouldn't want to, would you, really? What you wouldn't want, to be, oh, you wouldn't want to be using that, even if you were really lonely. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lee, why, why have you stuck... 
some big ears on that instead of mine. <laughs> Why are you using your hat to keep them down? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened next. Oh, what? Jack Cousteau sacked his agent. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're doing that. It must Mary. be quite tense doing all that puppet puppetry on television. Do you have to pull Sutty off in between takes? He <laughs> <laughs> um, said that just went over his head. Sorry. Well, it would do. He's not that tall, is it? <laughs> I can't believe we are sitting here, grown men, taking a piss out of a puppet. <laughs> we do it every puppet. week with him. <laughs> What happened next? No! What occurred later? Oh, sorry. <laughs> God's sake! <laughs> like some fat actor with a beard. Fat, yeah. Fat geezer. It wasn't, it was it? It wasn't him, was it? Was it Rory coming I think we'll have to give you three points for that. Let's see what actually happens. <laughs> Excuse me, what did you say? I said. <laughs> So Rory emerging from a drain uh, sheathed in rubber to talk gibberish to a row of glove puppets. <laughs> that double first at Cambridge really came in handy. <laughs> 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 Sweep is down there. Yeah, Obviously, I'm not going to ruin the image. That. Why do you that. have to bend down? Because he's only little, and he's got to use my microphone. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't give you the points. But he's scared. <laughs> you can't give us the points. Hang on. Scanned, okay? No. Dong. You can't give us a point. Yeah. Okay, let's find out what the there real next line, is. although somehow it seems that around David's team, including Sooty and his water pistol, <laughs> have nine, and Gary's team have twelve. Yeah. Now it's time for Phil the Sportsman. In this round, we deprive our regulars of their eyesight, plonk a sportsman in front of them, and ask them to tell us who it is. David and Lee, you're first. You have 90 seconds to tell us who your mystery sportsman is. Why I go and get a gun. <laughs> End of your level. OK, you're 90 seconds. You ready? <laughs> Start now. Uh, the person who invented boxing rules. Lundbury. No. no Angela Lundbury. <laughs> <laughs> person who swam the channel. He's got your first name and the spider. Web. Correct. Um, uh, it's Clapham, and his surname Holland. is Clapham, and his first name is Garnet. First name? Al. Correct. Uh, cricket, uh, big beard, just like yourself, Probably Mr. Gower. Nice. Yes, marvellous ever. And this is another one with different initials, Bugger. Um, <laughs> um, Ask Bandit. Ask Bandit, yes. No, Bugger wasn't a clue. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 same name, same name. Same name. Different it's different initials. It's the same. What do they call it? WC. WC Fields. No, no. ABCDF. No. E-U-L. 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 E-U-